Uh, ready to go? Your boy's recording. <coughs> and also sounds like ass because I've been screaming at a bar all night. It was cool. I had fun. The, the summary goblin cometh. All right. <laughs> Hang on. Get into character. <laughs> pebbles, 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 pebbles. <laughs> pebbles. Eating chickens. Oh. <laughs> Hello, children. It's been quite a while since we've last spoken. You're now over the age of consent in several states, which means I'm now allowed to do this without the lawyers getting involved. While you were sleeping, <laughs> while you, I was watching. <laughs> and oh, also, my, my hangover voice really all. does it's good for summary lens goblin. to summary goblin. <laughs> Hello, children. <laughs> that's that's not a summary goblin. That's like a the summary devil. <laughs> I think we need to get a design for him, and then have the top one say hello, and the bottom say children. So it's just hello, children. <laughs> <laughs> way too many O's. See, way I, too many. I'm picturing the goblin that does our advertisements, and the goblin that does the summaries. And they, they stand on each other's shoulders so they look like the, the merchant guy from Resident Evil. Oh, Resident in a trench coat? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought it was like a Nurse Joy thing where you're like, you're all the same fucking person. <laughs> we need um, to get this art made. Okay. Anyway, children, while you were sleeping, um, <laughs> well, last time while you were listening to the story, the door number team boys went back to Lou's hometown and they fought some bug people who were actually used to be other people, but now they were bad bugs. <laughs> and they, But they could make bombs, and we stopped them from using the bombs. And now the we mine... We stopped 9-11. <laughs> we, st- we stopped mine 9-11 in Lou's <laughs> hometown. 9-11! <laughs> 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 oh, oh, yeah. Inshallah! <laughs> 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 uh, and then, oh my god, can you recite the Quran in <laughs> goblin voice very briefly? Assalamu alaikum, you big haters! <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Chikashi 6x9! <laughs> and I saw a beast rising out of the sea, and power was given to him to kill a third of the earth. Uh, and it's, oh, I have to do a summary. Uh, and then the boys unionized the mine, but Lou almost died, and then he went to heaven where his dad was, and uh, said... Nice things to him because Brandon won an Emmy. You need dice. We all do need dice. Uh, anyway, and, and then also, there's more people here now, but I think that uh, Brandon has a yeah. So as the dungeon horse. master of it's just crits, it is my distinct honor to welcome Jake to the group. Jake, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Uh, give your Twitter handle or whatever you want people to follow you on. Oh, man. I don't have one of them yet. If you want to follow my wrestling-inspired Twitter page, it's at Jake Matthews PW. Jake, as <laughs> Jake Matthews PW. on Twitter, I would much rather follow that. Twitter, <laughs> uh, shark full of Nazis. <laughs> <laughs> Shock full of Nazis. Far above the recommended number of Nazis. <laughs> Which the is zero. Of Nazis. I, I could handle a few, but this is ridiculous. How many Unfortunately. parts per million Nazis is safe in your drinking water? <laughs> Should I do the 14 words of summary goblin? What? You guys don't know. 14 words is like a Nazi slogan. Uh, I'd rather you didn't. <laughs> it's the goblin saying. I can give I prefer, the inspiration and I, I can take I prefer Korean yeah, like. goblin. <laughs> Karablin. <laughs> All right. So uh, well, let's give a brief rundown of the character we do not know. Well, you guys are going uh, oh. to... Oh, oh you're going to learn. Because ah. I'm a writer. You're very ah. good at this, I see. All right. God so, is a poet. Oh, one, more, one last round of applause, because I just listened to the Brendan wins an epi- a- a- Emmy episode. And just, holy shit. I don't know why I didn't get an actual Emmy. Oh, oh my God. Well, listen, a Dungeon Master is only as good as his players. <laughs> and I I gave you guys like the most minor thing, and you spun gold from it. So thank you. I, and he's humble I've too. Never, I've never been prouder of you guys. Ladies, than he's I was not ever. single. <laughs> <laughs> but. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, continue where we left off. Uh, Lou's shit ass nephew. <laughs> for attempted murder. <laughs> Who's Pippi in there? <laughs> just a cutaway so we can I... get that glorious moment again. <laughs> uh, but you guys, uh, you went to go find your lodgings, but unfortunately, his massive company of mercenaries has bought up all the rooms. So Bookworm told you that you could go to the basement of the uh, of the inn that you guys usually stay in. Can we get alcohol on the way? Uh, you you can. Yes. Yay. Lou is very hungover for this episode. 
It's we need true to, to life. <laughs> the fire it's called cellar. being meta. Well, yeah, you did almost die. Did we figure out what his permanent disfigurement is? Oh, yeah, I think it's a face oh, scar, he right? He does have a face scar. Oh, cool, face yeah, scar. It's metal as fuck. <laughs> we'll um, name you Garbage in Swahili. <laughs> Please don't. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, I know. We're going to cut away from our boys for a second. Oh, God. To our new boy. Uh, Steven. I knew. Steven Universe. Steven Lou. Ah. Yeah. Oh. You, uh, you, you're walking down really? the road. Really? Are we related? And in the distance, you see a massive fortress. Um, it almost kind of reminds you of a birthday cake. Like, it's this big wall, and there's these, like, towers posted all around it. Uh, and as you approach the gate, you see a young dragonborn woman, uh, and she goes, Ah, oh, welcome to Candlekeep. My name is Naxolasis. What can I do for you? Uh, yeah, I've, I've come looking for a room. Oh, well, I'm sure we can get you squared away. Um, if you don't know, the entry fee to Candlekeep is an original written work that is not currently in our collection. Oh, wonderful. Um, uh, I don't have much to offer, but uh, I, I do have a couple works of my own. A uh, bit of a musician myself. Some, some things from my family in the past. Uh, be more than happy to share those with you. Uh, what what do you give her exactly? Um, I give her a work written by my father from his uh, time as a worker at his bathhouse. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, name of it amazing. is, is so she's can only just, seventeen. Can you describe the tone of this, of this song. It, it, it's very upbeat for a very depressing lifestyle. It's definitely uh, something that you can take from it that uh, my father is making the best of what he has uh, in front of him. He he uh, has always wanted to run this bathhouse and uh, uh, what a goal! <laughs> <laughs> we, we come from not a lot, so I mean any kind of business of your own. I mean we've it, always been just... very passionate about. Infidelity. <laughs> Taking them up on Pride Rock and going, one day all of these awkward hand jobs will belong to you. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, so as Nex is reading it, she she's definitely <laughs> chuckling, but she's she's also like she kinda like close and she goes, You know, that really made me think about myself and my own life and biases. The times I've spent in well, bathhouses. Welcome to Candlekeep. I'm gonna buy a bathhouse. <laughs> thanks, thanks. Um so I, I want to greet her and be like, hey, you're the prostitute guy, right? <laughs> <laughs> You've just come through the That's me. here. She walks you through this massive courtyard, and she says, um, so unfortunately, due to a large number of people staying at our inns, um, we're going to have to put you up in the, the Firefly Cellar. Okay. That'll do. Would you show me where that uh, would be? Oh, of course. Uh, just follow me to the House of Rest. Um, oh, and if you'd be interested in helping the people there with the restoration project, I'm sure they'd be more than happy to reward you. Um, we can give you access to some books, what, oh, whatever you think would help. That, that would be wonderful. Yeah, I, there are definitely uh, many works that I'm still looking for to expand some knowledge. I, I have some things I'm looking for on my journey itself, but I, I'd love to help. I can definitely lend a hand. Of course, of course. So as she walks you in, uh, you see what appears to be uh, a young man uh, with kind of tussled red hair, kind of kind of dirty. Uh, he has a, a bobcat next to him. Uh, you also see a very, like, just a shit brick house of a Goliath. Spinning in a He's circle. He's wearing shiny plate armor. Uh, Chasing a tail he does a, not have. Has a look of general confusion about him. <laughs> <laughs> and next to him is something you've never seen before. It appears to be like a like a strange metal man wearing uh, wizardly robes. Uh, and it, he has, like, the look of just, like, ancient, ancient technology. And the back of his head is missing. Um, and as Alexa walks toward them, she goes... Oh, hello, boys. Long time no see. What up? Gang, gang. I do have I any water. Remember her. So these must be more of the workers. I should quiet. Uh, we oh, do work for Candlekeep, yeah, yeah, yeah. but we're kind of more of a worker. We're more owners. Uh, uh, Nats kind of goes, oh, they're on special retainer from the, the Keeper of Tomes. I, I like how that's special a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Stop uh, telling people I have a retainer. No one's supposed to know. Uh, everyone, this is uh, You know what Steven they say you. about special people. Hello, everyone. Fuck Hi, Stephen Yu. <laughs> nice to meet Welcome you. Welcome to the Firefly Inn. You are? You need I'm to Lou. Shut the <laughs> nice to meet you, Lou. Nice to meet you. This is Please. Um, Yo, what up, Please. Hello, sir. 
Do you have, Steve, does you're he have a visible instrument on him? Uh, he does. He nice. Has, what, 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 I, hang on. Yeah. Well, yeah. He has a visible instrument. I immediately loot, mentioned sir. the visible. That is a neat visible instrument you have, sir, because I don't know the name. <laughs> Can a, you play independent it's Falcon? A lute. Like a little guitar kind of thing. Okay. Mm-hmm. What's, What's, uh, like the rooster head in um, Robin Hood. Yes. Ah, exactly thank you. Exactly like yes. the rooster Robin Hood. Uh, you need to relate it to furries, otherwise I won't <laughs> <laughs> If I'm not ashamed of wanting to fuck it, I don't know what's happening. Um, so, so as you guys are just kind of conversing, uh, the barman kind of walks up and he kind of pulls open this trap door and he goes, All right, Flash Cellar's in the basement. You'll find lodging down there. I used um, to live in one of these. My we parents really got chained it. me down. So when, when you, when you were to, your parents not Goliaths, please? <laughs> no, they were. I was just too violent for them. <laughs> when, uh, when, you, when you get to the bottom of the ladder, look for Varnier. She'll she'll tell you where to go. Varnier. Protect down the ladder up. we go. Did you say his parents right. had to lock him up? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to let that part go. <laughs> he got Rosemary Kennedy, but the ice pick broke. smart. <laughs> you keep walking. Oh wait, no! Stop. You did get Rosemary Kennedy, and that's why you're like this. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking of um, uh, the Trios of Horror, Bart's brother. Uh, oh my Hugo. God! Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Jonathan will get that reference. All right, we go down. Jonathan, that's one for you. I'm ahead down the ladder first because I'm just getting in the habit of going places first. <laughs> Big guy first, yeah. All right. So as you decide, I break the ladder. <laughs> one second. <laughs> We still haven't figured out a solid number for my carrying capacity yet. (laughs) Because it's just undetermined. Yeah, right. It's not calculable. There should be a day we know we should do when we have to kill time. Plus six. Hmm. Just check. I rolled a 90 for strength. Hold this. Hold that. Hold this. I think my favorite. Aren't you like, you're in your dream armor right now, aren't you? Oh, yeah, dude. I'm so fucking happy. I was so happy stoked. I've, I've got. I I'm probably I am relaying this to our new friend on the way down. Be like, I got this armor and it's plate mail <laughs> and it's awesome. And I also found a shield and I helped a dwarf and the summary goblin almost fought a something. Uh, what was it? it was but a, you don't know a, a about the summary goblin. He's a, <laughs> no, he's a meta being. I'm ethereal, but I do appear in their dreams. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, say, I, I say to Stephen, by the way, if you're going to hang out with us, that's great, because then we can do three shifts of reading him a book when he goes to sleep at night. It's I'm getting tired of us just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's quite that. slow. If, if you, if you could songs. perhaps sing him to sleep, that would be mm. that'd be great. I'd love to help for the time. He likes around. songs yeah. about rabbits. <laughs> <laughs> I just like the idea, like, while you're explaining, <laughs> while you're explaining the hour, <laughs> you're just, like, doing that kid thing where you're shoulder shimming, like, yeah, I got this, and then I, that, and then that. I am. Look how shiny my plate mail is. <laughs> so, um, as they you guys, make me kill people. <laughs> did you take me home? My armor's telling me to murder me. <laughs> There's another Simpsons reference here, Jen. <laughs> Jonathan, you're one of the real ones, buddy. Uh, okay. Thanks for those DVDs. Oh, Jay. Yeah, I know. I got the Chaplin collection. I'm fucking hyped. Nice. Yeah, I saw that shit and was like, mine. But for those that need context, he yeah, had a post in a group chat that was like, hey, I'm, thro- I'm giving away these movies because I got way better mm-hmm. versions of them in 4K. The, and we was a free-for-all. <laughs> the circular room contains curved, dark wood bookcases packed with books of assorted shapes, sizes, and ages. These mean nothing to me. Flowers <laughs> and ceramic pots line the tops of the shelves. Giving the area a sweet fragrance. Please look at the pretty flowers. Yay. <laughs> I go over to the pots and flowers and whatnot. Alcoves are spaced at regular intervals around the perimeter of the room. Four of them contain poor, polished bronze statues of the spectacled scholars, and three hold overstuffed chairs. In the center of the room, a brass railing surrounds an overlook that gives a view of the lower level of the stacks. Hanging from the ceiling, above the opening in the floor, is an enormous stone sculpture of an open book that looks as though the cover is flapping to keep it aloft. The, a spiral staircase to the east leads down, as well as up to the trapdoor exit set into the ceiling. The occasional errant fly, firefly flits about. Ooh, um, I'm going to try and catch a firefly. Please, uh, make a dexterity check for me. Will do. Uh, You're about to break a flower pot. the book statue? Uh, eight plus a lot. Eight so. plus? Okay, so you, you <laughs> kind of manage to catch it in your hand, but you don't crush it. And it's, just, <laughs> it's just kind of crawling around the palm of your hand. This is the first animal I haven't killed by touching it. <laughs> I will name you Livy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I named many other animals Livy before that, but unfortunately they did not. <laughs> well, you lost the Livy. Livy. So, so, uh, <laughs> yes, yes. You, you see that the, this piece of stonework uh, on, the, on the cover of the book is carved the words, mm. Be Curious. 
Hmm. And you see that it is suspended by three chains that are connected to the ceiling. Got to be better. I really just want to vandalize it so it says by curious. But I'm <laughs> I hand guys. Stephen the firefly while this is happening. I'm like, oh, um, you, you said fire. there was. He hands you the look. Fire. It's a fire. I, I take the firefly. Is it is it harmed or is it? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's just doing firefly things. <laughs> I kind of try and let it fly back out and. And, and as Please, you do like, so, what the fuck? you notice, uh, Stephen, that around the bookshelves are glass jars that have dozens of fireflies inside of them. Oh. The fireflies seem to be the only source of light in this part of the library. Oh, cool. um, hmm. Because you were the first down the mm -hmm. ladder, please, mm -hmm. you see what appears to be uh, an older um, elf, a sun elf. And she's mm -hmm. kind of on a ladder, like kind of doing something. And then um, suddenly she kind of bumps the bookcase and a book tumbles out and lands right on your head. Oh. Uh, she goes, oh my Goodness, are you okay? And she starts like scrambling oh, down at her. Trust me, I'm fine. She walks right past <laughs> you. She walks right past you and picks up the book and goes, "Oh, you poor thing." Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, a little, a little nick on the spine. You'll be okay. Lou uh, pipes up. Also, okay. oh, hello. <laughs> nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you too. My name is. What's Did place? I? Are you, are, are you the boys that Skoda sent down? Skodis? Yeah. <laughs> Skoda. Skoda. <laughs> bookworm. His name's Bookworm. Oh, he doesn't really like it. He likes it when we call he him likes that. It, he it's, a, it's a pet name for us. It's, it's like a thing only we can do. Make a deception check. <laughs> oh, hell yes. Uh, I don't say in character. <laughs> deception, you said? Yes. 13. Okay, so she Plus goes, anything? Oh, well, isn't that Plus nice? Here. You know, he hasn't been uh, called that since the old days. Well, we like to think that we're softening Wait. him up. We didn't even know he was called that in the old days. Oh, yes, yes. Back from his days of adventures. So we, you, so we, so we, we hang out with you for a while and ask some questions oh, about well, some stories? Um, or? I don't suppose you have any paintings of him with a mullet on a motorcycle? <laughs> we'll or settle for a handlebar mustache. <laughs> well, he's a, he's a dragonborn. He doesn't really have hair. I know. Um. Oh. oh, but you know So what? that's a no? As long as you guys <laughs> are hanging around, about him in a could dress. you do me a small favor? Yeah. She she goes over and grabs like a stack of, of books. Uh, and and Protek, you know, she's she's kind of walking with a cane. Mm. She she hands please uh, please she hands you the books and she goes, Could you deliver these downstairs to Ebder? Yeah, he's the the man working at the desk. I will do this with Bard Boy while you guys find out about Bookworm. Yes. Oh well thank you. You're so Come with there. me, new friend. <laughs> I suppose, yeah. I definitely just want to check out some of these books before the, the day's over. I mean, there just looks like so much stuff here. Mm. Well, Steven, if you want to stay here, yeah, I can go. Yeah, you want to please. check out books, don't come with me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I think I'm going to hang out here. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Well, I'll uh, Can go. I try something, actually? Yes. Am I able to heal the uh, sun elf of her limp? Is that something mm. I could do? So you can heal, like, wounds, but mm -hmm. this isn't a wound. This is just age. Oh, okay. Oh. okay. You're old. She, she kind of notices you uh, You looking at her, and she Ow. goes, oh, you know, 685 years. Holy shit. Goes <laughs> by in a, in a blink. Give you well, such yeah, a crick yeah. in the neck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I Oh, I do want to ask her, uh, do you just really like the books, or are the books alive? Oh, no, no, no. It's part of our whole operation down here. You mm -hmm. see, Candlekeep has books from thousands and thousands of years ago. So this is where we rehab them. We give them new covers, fix their pages, and sometimes if they're unsavable, we transcribe them into a new uh, book. I, as, as I'm walking away, I turn back and I'm like, do you have any books on how to punch better or wear bears? Oh, I, I'm not sure. You're more than welcome to look around after you finish your text. I can't read. We will. Oh, well, we dear. will. We can. We, we can. I'm learning. Anything you you find, <laughs> I read you bring Beasel me. the other day. That's a hard one. You find something that teaches you how to punch. I'll read it for you, buddy. Yay! But while we're on that subject, what about books on plagues? Hey, you know, this one lying around. <laughs> well, I, I, I'm Anything sure about that. That there might be some somewhere. You're well, more than welcome to look. Thank you so much for your permission to look aggressively oh, for course. those books. Oh, of course. Varnier, by the way. Oh, by the way, I'm Protech. Protech, and you are? I'm Steven. Oh, Steven, lovely to meet <laughs> you. Universe. And you? And I'm Lou. Oh, Lou. Uh, absolute right. pleasure. And who are you, my nice young man? Please. Oh, please. Thank you for helping me out. Wow, you recognize that as a name. Strangers right get that so often. <laughs> <laughs> oh, honey, when you live 685 years, you meet all kinds of people with all kinds of nice. You're the 12th please I fucking met. I don't oh have God. a last name. <laughs> I say as right. I walk away. <laughs> <laughs> like, and she goes, oh, like Cher. <laughs> Fox like Cher. He just walks the great, away. The great elf the bar Cher. <laughs> I'm gonna go and in this group, we do believe in life after love. Right. Samuel Jackson. I'm going solo. They're going to look at books. So, so please, um, you notice the staircase. There's the ladder 
that leads up to the house of rest where you guys came from. Mm. And then there's like a spiral staircase going downwards. That's the one. Okay. Um, so uh, Stairs gonna, number down. Why don't you do that? Before we cut to please, uh, do you cut guys want to ask Varnier anything or look for anything? I'd like to look for books on like local history and that kind of thing. Look for okay. kind of uh, books while you're at it. Roll an investigation check for me, Stephen. Investigation. And am I able universe. to do that on the DMD? I can't. Beyond? Not you, say you should be able to. Have to it's like Benoit balls from Archer. <laughs> I was gonna say. So if you um, if you click hmm? balls. Yes. So we're gonna go to your skills. Benoit balls. balls. And then you look for investigation. That's how I learned what those are. What you add. Mm-hmm. Plus two. Uh, so that's D20 what, and then plus what Chris two. Benoit did. Six. <laughs> a six. Yeah, nothing six. wrong. Uh, not great. Nothing yeah. wrong. You know, here's is the that thing. the stance of this? You're just kind of overloaded. By this is going to be great content this right collection now. Is. Yeah. And then you realize there's even more books downstairs. Oh, wow. Um, you do find one about, let's see. Um, Where? You, you'll find one about the history of Waterdeep. Okay. Is there Ooh. anything of value in there? Oh, uh, you know, it talks about like the the how the town came to be. Uh, it talks about like the different wards. Okay. You know, just kind of basic information. Nice. Kind of like a tour guide kind of thing. Cool. All right, uh, Kellen, what are you doing? Uh, uh, I would like to ask Varnier, uh, are there any books on old languages? Probably or, would probably be a dead language. Hmm. You know, I do hmm. believe we have a book on primordial somewhere. Actually, hmm. weird. Well, that could help me. And also, do you have any? I hear a voice in my head demanding that I look for a book about werebears. Thank you. Oh yes, um, I believe we have a section on like lycanthropy like just over there. Is werebear right. a slur? It is not. <laughs> Certainly can be. I said they, they probably call you something like shagskin or something. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I guess maybe if you put a little stank on it, <laughs> you yogi bitch. It depends on I don't say with a hard R. <laughs> you can say werebear. <laughs> Yeah, they, you know. wear bears, they move into your neighborhood, your property values go down, they, they go steal. Your garbage. <laughs> they eat your <laughs> they dogs. Shit on your yard. <laughs> they come in, they're taking <laughs> up all the tables. Hashtag don't bears. <laughs> you know, uh, you know, bears are fine. Forest fires. Protect, what yeah. are you doing in this time? Um, well, that be, be did the werebear thing, so now I don't really have to. I actually go to the downstairs to follow Stephen because Sorry. I want to live. So, so Stephen is staying up here. Uh, oh, is going down. I fucked up. I pop. I follow police downstairs. Okay, you do so. I have a friend. Um, what, one more thing, actually. Well, I want to look for one more book. Yes, Sorry. Uh, yeah, uh, are there any books on shrill voices haunting your dreams? Because we've all been having dreams where a weird kind of Boston accented uh, demon. What <laughs> investigation? <laughs> Goblin, if you will. <laughs> it's it's summarily annoying. Oh, that's the uh, that's what uh, haunted me in my sleep when I stayed there. That one Thirteen. Night. Okay, you you find a book about the far realm. Okay. And that is, so like Toril, right? That's the planet you guys are currently on, right? There's other mm-hmm. realms, right? But then mm-hmm. there's like the stuff that's space and beyond. And mm-hmm. it is like this immense thing that we barely have scratched the surface. Um, it would also mention that uh, Gith Yanki and Gith Sarai, they're uh, elves from another dimension. They have ships that allow them to go to the astral sea, and they have just scratched the surface of all the shit that's out there. That like that is like Lovecraft City up there, except without the Jew hatred. <laughs> Still well, hate Italians though. Less anti-Semitical Lovecraft. H.P. Lovecraft is a writer that I love. He thinks I'm not human. <laughs> <laughs> In this world, H.P. Lovecraft's yeah. cat is named is that Shagskin. Oh no, no, no. H.P. Lovecraft was like the Irish are a subhuman race of, of human monkeys, <laughs> and it's like, dude. Arthur Conan was your best friend. <laughs> he wrote he a book about humans interbreeding with fish people after he found out he was part Welsh. He yeah, <laughs> he had a fucking mental breakdown and he had to go to He gave his wife, who was a Jewish businesswoman, a copy of Mein Kampf and was like, hey, this guy's making some points. What if like you travel to a different dimension and you're like, what's different from this dimension? Oh, in this dimension, uh, Lovecraft's cat was just called Bing Bong. And then <laughs> and things are just a lot smoother. But in this dimension. The things people have said Bing Bong about. But actually, in this dimension, Bing Bong is a slur. For what race? It's a slur. Everybody. Do you uh, know the name of H.P. Lovecraft's cat? Yeah, we don't know no, talk no. about that. We Google don't it. Know. Google it. Google it so we can hear yeah, your response. We'll, we'll Google that on your own time. No, no, no. 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 Talk about that um, as long so, as we're still down here, too, can I make one last uh, investigation sure. check? Sure, yeah. What would you like to find? Uh, books on wars? Any, any oh, wars? yeah, okay. So you, okay, Dad. You, um, you <laughs> You find a couple of uh, specifically World War Two of um, hobgoblin armies. Yeah. 
that uh, <laughs> tried to raid. You learned that there was a thing called the Kiz Army that uh, managed to drive them back. <gasps> Yeah. I was gonna say you've got somebody excited. What? I, I, I took you. I took, <laughs> I took your back. You invaded there, and I just put it right in. Hell yeah! Uh, but so please, as you go down the stairs, uh, protect not too far behind you. I forgot I did those things because really. I was you guys, drunk. Uh, you see an older. Uh, well, he looks like an older man, but you realize he's he's actually not that old. He's probably mid thirties, but his hair is like super gray with just a couple of black streaks in it. So he's seen some shit. Uh, he appears to be working at a desk. And it's kind of one of those desks that has like a slot for five separate people. Mm. Okay. Uh, and he doesn't really look up from what he's doing. Protag walks up I, like loudly with his steps to get his attention. And, and he looks up and he goes, please keep it down. I just put my daughter to bed. Sorry, I'm made of metal. <laughs> <laughs> I gently set the books down in front of him. Be like, book delivery, boy. Okay, listen, those books don't go here. You need to take them downstairs to Cthulhu. Oh, Cthulhu? Cthulhu. <laughs> Cthulhu. Um, Cthulhu. Is this place what do you know about werebears? Look, I, I'm actually really busy right okay. now, so... Um, you just edged him like you don't even know. <laughs> listen, just to keep going down the Sex stairs. Up. Go through the hallway to the kitchen. Turn right. It's the third door on your left. Let's do that. All right. And away we go. Boom, 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 uh, boom, so, so yeah, as you as you guys go downstairs, um, you see uh, you, you kind of see like a young girl kind of like kind of walking towards where you guys are headed, and she turns around and she goes, "Hi, I'm Gilby. You guys are new. I don't recognize you. You're really tall. Why are your muscles so big? How come your skin is metal? Do you need to sleep?" <laughs> no, I don't. It's awesome. I don't have to sleep at all. I wish I didn't have to sleep. My dad says I have to go to bed because I'm, you know. But I, I, Is your dad the man we just met? Yeah. Whose name? My dad's name is Edgar. Oh, we should have woken you. you up then. Um, what do you know about werebears? Well, I've heard that they can turn into super strong and they get these big claws and that in the, in, in, um, and she's, she's like struggling to remember. She goes, Oh, I read a book about them in um, the, the, to the north. Yeah. Yeah. I want to be one. <gasps> yeah. Do you know how to? No. Okay. <laughs> That's if, the question. If you figure out how to be a werebear, can you teach me how to be a werebear? Yes. I think you have to be like super strong though first. So go to the gym. <laughs> and, she, and she just kind of stares at you for a while and goes, I'm guilty. <laughs> I'm please. <laughs> you please that's kind of a funny name i had to step out for a minute is please talking to an unattended child yes right yeah i'm there i'm there <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm literally a robot nanny it's fine <laughs> and nice. she, she looks at you protech goes what's your name my name is protech i was uh, created to be a protector for kids like you oh wow do you like to play games i was programmed to love them do you guys want to play with me? Excuse me. Yes. We, we have to be quiet because I'm supposed to be in bed right now. Oh, I'm so down to play. Wait, what's your game? I am also very game. Sorry, I keep going in and out. I'm getting my McDonald's. Well, come on. I'll show you around. Woo and um, I, she takes me by my hand. She she takes both of you by the hand. Yeah. yeah. And she leads you to a kitchen. I'm and uh, you see what appears to be a bipedal curl person. Um, Protect, you recognize this as a kinku. Uh, okay, I go, what's up, my kinku? I don't know. <laughs> and she she's kind of like squawking at you, like get out of my kitchen. I'm doing stuff. All right, all right. Gailby right. kind of steps in front of you, and she goes, uh, she goes, Crinkle, you can at least say hi. And and Crinkle kind of looks at, at Gailby, um, and you notice like her expression kind of softens a little bit, and she goes, you could say hi, like in Gailby's voice. Oh. I do a I kind of like a uh, hi. Oh. Upon getting a better look at her, Tyler, you recognize that Crinkle is very old for a kinku. Um, she kind of has like the, the bumpy skin that birds have under their feathers. And you can tell that a lot of her feathers have fallen out. Um, she goes, this is Crinkle. She takes care of the fireflies. Oh, cool. She also cooks our meals and stuff. Nice. All right, Crinkle. Hello. Hi. And she, she, in your voice, she goes, Imitates. Hi. <laughs> Ooh, do me, do me. Do me, do me. Ah, yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Um, I'm trying to think of a song that does good call and response. Uh, what's the line in Bohemian Rhapsody? Uh, Scaramouche. Scaramouche. <laughs> Scaramouche, Scaramouche. Will you Can you do the Fandango? 
Can you do the Fandango? Thunderbolts and lightning. Thunderbolts and lightning. <gasps> very, very frightening. Very, very Galileo! frightening. Galileo! <laughs> oh, so remember. Oh, <laughs> so Tyler, Tyler. No, I was just doing a build. Protech, Protech would know this. I don't know that please would. Kanku cannot speak. They can only copy things they've already heard. So Galileo. 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 <laughs> Galileo. <figure Galileo>. <laughs> yeah. So then, so then um, uh, Crinkle kind of points to the pot that she's cooking in, mm. and then she points to you guys, and then she points to the door out. Yeah. She goes, know. okay, come on, guys. Crinkle wants to be alone so she can cook. Fair enough. Um, so Gail B kind of leads you guys down a hallway, uh, and she goes... Mm. We're listening. We're just also uh, so she goes, so this is my bedroom here, here, and then... Katula is next to me, and then my dad's across the hall. Uh, Crinkle has the room all the way at the end of the hall. Mm -hmm. well, who are we looking for again? What was the person's name? Katula. Remember, it sounds like the gender Ben Katula. So oh, where's Katula? Uh, some of them are. <laughs> so where's Katula, and also where are you hiding the werebears? Oh, I, there aren't any werebears here. Ah, I was just testing. At least not that I know of. <laughs> What? Um, Katula? Oh, no? Yeah, so if you go down the hall, she's Boyfriend? on the door yeah. furthest to your you? left. Okay, hang on. McDonald's break. Let's get this all sorted out. For some <laughs> reason, every wrestling podcaster is British. So, like, every... What? every For some reason... That like is huge. so <gasps> fucking fascinating to me. And, like, every time, like, you're watching it, it it's 99% of the time you've got some British dude talking to you down the mic and it's like all right i don't know what i'm I more like engaged the in the wrestling content or your ex oh, yeah. <laughs> she's like so anyway he goes in there the glass breaking noise happens and he's walking down that fucking head <laughs> too uh, fucking I'm right sorry, like, i zoned out for a little bit i was just staring into your eyes <laughs> no i like i might I, there's a uh, british let's players that i love because i don't know what it is but like watching british let's players just helps me go to sleep so well but like i love it when they play horror games because they'll see like they'll see like a person like nailed to the walls with spikes and they're bleeding and he goes like oh capital <laughs> 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 great heavens it's just great also any oh british let's player who's a chick is just like immediately like please just marry me <laughs> like uh there's any a, accent it's not. if you're oh wait you're british and you and you and you have a vagina get over here champ champ <laughs> i have a lot of issues come here sport <laughs> would sport be better yeah, yes. <laughs> oh, another example of james gunn's amazing right yes, we're back <laughs> <laughs> We need a McDonald's break character. <laughs> Oi, what's all so, this then? I'm the McDonald's. No, it should be Richard. Hello, everybody. These stupid Americans that are still in their face with American dumbass. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's you Americans, you love to give yourself diabetes. <laughs> God, we do. <laughs> I've Type two diabetes. The so one you gotta good. earn. <laughs> That's why we're all taller than that. That is why country. we eat the frogs. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Yeah, wait. You're okay, disgusting too, Richard. The buns off. <laughs> <laughs> For some There's reason, I no diabetes Jake... in frog. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, Jake. That I thought the last time I saw you, it came up organically that you had type one diabetes. Am I wrong? Yes. Okay, cool. Just making sure. Just making sure. So um, that's my do you, feeling. Do you have diabetes? In case no, I, no. In case no. I do awkwardly I, do offer I you some like I have diabetes. Right? <laughs> no, type one. No, I don't have to feel bad about. You're yeah, because you were born with it. Type two, you earn. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah no, no you look you. like you have type one diabetes. I look like I have type two diabetes. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I look at that type three diabetes. Now. It's where you give it to yourself because you want attention, <laughs> <laughs> and you don't actually have it. <laughs> Munch I do. Diabetes. <laughs> so uh, before I continue with fibromyalgia, uh, before I continue with Protec and please, uh, upstairs, Stephen and Pro Luke. Are you, guys, uh, are you guys up to anything that you want to Protec do or? I just I gotta read through that book and see if it has anything on the Fae language that I was looking for. So cool. okay, it'll so, probably take a while. So I figure I can't do it. Primordial is like ancient terrestrial uh, language. It's mm -hmm. like the language of elementals. So uh, not the Fae. No, particularly uh, Ganassi use it. Um, a lot of like kind of animal races, like bullywugs, mm -hmm. and uh, you also learn about this creature. Uh, it, it kind of offhandedly mentions uh, Gripply. They're kind of like bipedal frog people. Hmm. They use uh, primordial. But if you're looking for Feywild language specifically, you're going to want to look for a book about Sylvan. Hey, I'm, not, I'm looking for 
the uh, alphabet more than the language, actually. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, in that case, uh, you like that ABC shit. Yeah, I, yeah. I think it'd be uh, it'd be realistic that you could find one with that. All right, I'll, I'll go look for a book about Sylvan. All right, Stephen, are you up to anything? Um, Books realistically, the only thing that I would want to keep looking for is anything uh, that might have more information than my mother. Um, so more war and that kind of thing, I would assume. Okay. <laughs> um, Character favor development. And roll in another investigation check. Let us uh, roll an investigation check. Right. And uh, maybe if you asked uh, Lou for help, maybe he could help you find it and you get yeah. advantage. And Brendan, then, open your mouth. We can hear it better uh, when you open your mouth. And then you, you could share your some character. Why is he talking like so, Paul Christ? <laughs> I, so God I rolled a 19. Stroke. After okay. the frustration of Nobody my first that. time searching and still being a little overwhelmed, God, I kind of look over at Lou I mean. and be like, man, this is just a lot right now. <laughs> <laughs> if everyone could just uh, back the fuck up. <laughs> Starts having a panic where, attack in the corner. Where do I even begin? Is everyone else? What are you looking for, Stephen? Why do I, I have an else? erection? Well, so my my mom was, well, at least from what I've heard, was a, a, a great warrior, and I, I, honestly, it's just been too long. Am I, I, I need mom? to find her. So I, I'm honestly just looking there. for any information that help, might help lead me to her. Okay. Well, books about war. Then, uh, hmm. Do you know what war she was fighting in, or anything like that? Unfortunately, I, I haven't gotten the uh, exact name and all the tales, but I, I know she's just been gone for my entire life. Hmm. Huh. Uh, would we be able to be able to find like any book that just has a record of a lot of different conflicts over the last? Yeah. Like, um, 60 well, years. so like I said previously, he found a book about uh, the Kiss Army uh, fighting off hobgoblin uh, mercenary groups. They tried to conquer a few towns quite a few years ago, but they, the army managed to drive them back. Um, other than that, no, you, you, can't, you, you don't really find what you're looking for. Any chance she was in the KISS army? I mean, not, not that I'd heard of. I, I know she's definitely been uh, uh, in, in action with a bunch of different warriors, but I, I'd never heard of something like a KISS army before, no. Sick guitar solo. Can there be like canonically like Wait, you don't have to do it every time? But can there be like a sick sick guitar solo sound <laughs> with the background that only like Stand yeah. up! I'm trying to take a man. Go there! Kick him right in there! Uh, was your mother's <laughs> name back by know. chance? War! I got a king of the bow! Yeah. From the earth! Uh, uh, when it's kiss, every song's that a deep cut. That's just a stupid joke between me and Connor and now it's canon. <laughs> <laughs> Look at what you want. We build I'm our own silly it. world here. Uh, I would say we just want to in there somewhere. talk to any mercenaries we find and ask about her. It might not be a bad idea. But oh, yeah, we, we might have a bunch of mercenaries here right now. Um, so Barthier, oh, and there's me. That's what it's Barthier like. kind of walks up to you guys and goes, you know, boys, it's getting really late. I'm about to kind of close up around here. Uh, why don't you guys go down to your living quarters? All right, fair enough. Yeah, we suppose. do. <laughs> All right, we cut back to you guys. Uh, Gail B has told you where Cthulhu's room is. But we're playing with the kid. Oh, so you do. So you walk in, Obviously. and she goes, do you guys want to see my toys? 110%. Yeah. So How she, is this a game? But yeah. So uh, <laughs> real quick, uh, could you both roll me an tag. investigation check? Or I'm sorry, perception. Perception. Either way, it's a three. <laughs> Well, it's, I rolled a nineteen. And, oh, I rolled a nineteen, so, and my yeah, perception is seven. So, yeah. so, so Tyler, um, the toys are bombs. You you notice that Gailby must love to draw because she has drawings ah. all over the walls, right? Drops. And you see these three. Explain them for the for the thing. Oh yes, of course. So uh, the first picture you see appears to be a woman holding a uh, sickle, and there is a man on the floor who has had one of his legs and ears cut off. On the second drawing, you see a dog biting a woman's hand off. And on the third drawing, you see what appears to be a young boy drowning to death in a river, uh, surrounded by laundry. And you notice that above each picture, there's a dark cloud. These child's drawings look like the drawings that I made in therapy you, after you can, the uh, war. You can point them out to Lou if you want. Right, <laughs> um, please, if you want. Are these all just Rorschach tests, but ProTech is really fucked up? <laughs> <laughs> I hate it when the doctor shows me a Rorschach ticket because I hate it when they show me a picture of my parents fighting all the time. <laughs> um, no, uh, can I ask, what's the black smoke creature in the corner? Well, I, I don't really know. 
It's just, it's just a dream I had. It's just one of those things that's always kind of there. Mm-hmm. Does it? Does that thing frighten you, or is it a nice thing? It's nice, I guess. Here, I'm going to show you. The Roll thing. for she, child she psychology. Goes, she goes over to her toy chest and she brings you like this one <laughs> really like ornate uh, kind of like porcelain doll. She goes. Her name is Mary. She has uh, a party dress and she has a pair of pajamas that look just like mine. Awesome. Matching pajamas are cool. Um, now. Do you like my armor? Do you? <laughs> I say no, to yeah, the child. Yeah, do that, yeah. He does I that. do say that to the child. Um, suddenly, you kind of hear footsteps, and then you see the the gray haired man earlier, and he goes, "Gilby, I told you to get into bed twenty minutes ago." I we, wave. We both <laughs> do the same wave at the same we, time. This is our fault. We were. Uh, Sorry, I made I a got medal. Distracted. I <laughs> I like meeting people with the same mental capacity as me. It's very fun. Um, <laughs> And Drew just kind of stands there and just goes, all right, well, you got to show the newcomers around. Now it's right to bed with you. Oh. And she she kind of like, you know, waves you guys goodbye. And she goes, we can have breakfast tomorrow if you want. Yay, I love food. All right. And then as you guys leave, she shuts the door so she can get changed and go to bed. I asked her dad about the drawings. Oh, Gail B loves to draw the, all sorts of things. The, what about the black smoke creature? They seem plot important. <laughs> Oh, I, I don't know. Gailby, listen, um, Gailby is a wonderful girl. She she has quite an imagination on her. Well, now, well, you know, in a magical book library place, maybe, and I take a step closer, just maybe, just maybe, <laughs> it's not just dreams. <laughs> but well, it's just a thought. I won't tell you how to raise your child. Then. Listen, I, I, I appreciate it. <clears throat> really, Gailby likes to make up monsters and adventures all the time. So do You're we. talking like an X-Files side character right now, buddy. So yeah, you, do you, I. Have you ever seen any a procedural cop show? Because <laughs> um, I'm starting to notice some parallels. Good no. cop, dumb cop. So, um, <laughs> you guys, I'm uh, a good cop. You guys, you guys still have the option of delivering those books to Catula. Yeah, to I, Catula, I, I put I, him, I put them in my bender stomach. All right. As you walk down the hall, you uh, you see uh, a, a, a looks like a bipedal cat person. She fuck? has light brown fur. And kind of, kind of like imagine like a head like a lion. You named the cat person Cat Ula. <laughs> hey man, I didn't write this shit. <laughs> um, if I have coin, will she have where? She she sees you in the doorway and she goes, "Oh, are those books for me? Thank you, they're very helpful. I'm doing some research on local magic and I just cannot find any resources. It's really great that she found those for me. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, being so rude. My name is Katula. How are you? Uh, I'm to good. Meet you. Hello. Please. What can I do for you, gentlemen? Um, I'm looking for books on were bears. If you have. Oh, you know, I was just researching to read traditions and I found some wonderful research here. I think this will help you. Yay! You a, a book on I it. hand them to him. Oh, I can't read. Puts in Bender's stomach. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we can't take them out of here, though. So you got to read them as a bedtime story. Well, I don't think we're leaving an area that they will zoom no. back to. Don't worry. If it disappears and I feel lighter, I'll let you know. Thank you. Um, um, <laughs> so, Pro Tech. <laughs> yeah. On Cthulhu, uh, um, oh, she, I, I forgot to read you. Don't thing. forget to ask about plagues. So, um, as well. you, my next you notice uh, Cthulhu, <clears throat> Cthulhu lives in like a very simple room. Uh, there's a bed, there's a wash basin, there's and a, a scratching desk. post. And you notice <laughs> that on the desk, there's a tiny clockwork oyster resting on it. Clockwork. Oyster. Looks like your heart, I bet. <laughs> I go over and you know get close enough to instigate them to speak on it. Ooh. Oh yes. Turn the key. Oh, permission? Thank you. Turns the key. So you kind of wind it up, and then the 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 oyster starts kind of making ocean sounds. Ooh. You can hear crashing waves. You can hear surf. Fall asleep. You can that. even hear some whale noises. Oh. A peaceful type of magic, I say out loud. This is a present that my parents bought for me before I left home. It really helps me calm down sometimes when I'm feeling stressed out. Do you guys ever feel stressed out? Almost constantly. Oh, I drink I, that away. I'm missing half my, my brain, so yeah. Same. Ooh, we're a good, we're a good team up. <laughs> well, you kept the smart half. I kept the charisma half. Well, it's getting rather late, and I really should be getting to bed. Thank you, gentlemen, for bringing these books. I'll see you in the morning. Where are you're we capable sleeping? of sleep right now? Oh yes, absolutely. I'm very, very tired. I've been working all day. You know, like I said, I have to do this research, finding local traditions for druids. Uh, did you know that several druids have different ways of teaching magic? I mean, when you think of magic, you think of universities and teachers, but actually, there are different ways to teach magic through nature. Legs. I literally like Before screenshot the memory. What about them? Uh, no, 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 he'll wait. tell you. I was waiting. Do you know while I have you before? 
God damn it! Sorry, I'm getting into the role playing. I haven't yeah. done the D and D with <laughs> recordings in a while, so I'm used to like looking passionately into my DM's eyes <laughs> whenever I speak to him. So this I'm is sorry a about non-eye that. Non-eye contact. But podcast. now, before I yeah, Brendan's over there. Look, don't look at it. Don't fucking look at it. But um, so hi, yeah. I was wondering if I could ask you before you hop on off to bed, would I be able to see any plague books you have lying around? Well, I suppose if you look very carefully, you might be able to find something. I, there, it depends on if the plague is from a virus or is it a supernatural one. Supernatural viruses. Ooh, wow, okay, that's a little bit different. I, I suppose if you wanted to look into it, you could look into the abyss. Uh, the abyss. There's lots of demon lords there. Uh, one of them is... Uh, Ziggurath? Shit, Zendaya. Um, Zagreus. <laughs> Hang on. Tom Holland. Timothy Ski Shelley. Zerg. Peaches and cream. <laughs> Millions of peaches. Peaches for me. Go into the country. Gonna eat a lot of word association. That's what we just did. We just wore shit. <laughs> put there oh, word by a man in a factory downtown. Stop. We'll get copyright. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> we don't sing that well. That uh, that song is "Peaches" by the Presidents of the United States of America. Is that really the name of the band? Yeah. Holy shit! No wonder they didn't take off. <laughs> Good luck. I believe that "Peaches" is pretty much their only song. Yeah, no, I bet Peaches they have a bunch of other free. good songs, but nobody could find them. Well, <laughs> they do have a lot of other songs, but it's just different fruit, and it's yeah. the same song. Watermelons. <laughs> uh, if you wanted to look into Zuckatmoy, he's the uh, demonic lord of decay and death, that would probably be a good start. Thank you so much. Now, I'm going to do a joke where what you just did, where you speak that fast, checked a note, and then started to speak that fast, is the equivalent of a pit crew stopping. <laughs> <laughs> Fixing up some shit and then sending them right the fuck back at full speed. That's what just happened. Where are we sleeping also before we leave you? So there Sorry, are, um, so there's on, on the side of the hallway you guys are on, there's Gailby's room and then Catula's room. There's uh, an empty room here and there's an empty room directly across the hall. Have we found booze yet? You have not found booze. Because me and Lou needed to sleep. Um, <laughs> How about they go to sleep? Our while they sleep I look for booze. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, we can't Brutal. sleep without booze. As are yeah. we. Um... I could maybe brew um, some. So, so just, Let's you, meet up in the room. As, yeah, as, you guys, as you guys leave, um, I have a brew, a potion brew kit that I mainly use for so beer. So as you guys leave the tool's room, you see Stephen and Lou coming down the stairs, and behind them, um, Crinkle has like a like a tray, and it's got like some provi- like some food and some drinks on it. Uh, you definitely mm-hmm. you see like a, a bottle of mead. Uh, there's like a couple pints of ale, and uh, there's some like soups and some cooked fish. Can I um, ask for future reference? Because with Druidcraft, I can make a, like a plant flower prematurely. Mm-hmm. Could I make something ferment faster than it normally would? I Ooh. don't know. Probably. I assume so, yeah. You know there's a yeah. Reddit page answering that question. Yeah. Back um, pocket. But since we have ale and mead right now. I'll just I say it. thank you to the bird man and ask. It's a woman. Bird woman. Uh, and ask, do you have any alcohol? <laughs> and she, she shows you the bottles on the tray. How many can we take? Stomp twice for all of them. <laughs> and she, she kind of holds up like three clawed fingers. Oh, cool. Joy- Was that three stomps? Does that mean we can have more than all of them? <laughs> we got it. He's a oh, jerk. three each. <laughs> don't drink. Okay, lovely. Thank oh, you. sweet. I'm going to grab. Can they get my shares because they don't drink? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> sweet. Uh, also, Luke has not seen this bird woman yet, so he's disturbed. Whoa! <laughs> what does so, Richard do so, when so he Luke. sees the bird? Woman? Oh wait, yeah. Does Richard try to eat the bird? <laughs> well, Richard's just kind of like he's doing like that cat thing where his with eyes the wide eyes. Yeah, not not removing eye contact. Um, with it, when they zoom in on one, real quick, when they zoom in on Richard, it's like his eyes do that, and his two eyes, an S and an N, appear on the eyes. It spells soon. <laughs> <laughs> um, Lou, you do notice that Crinkle in her free hand, she's holding like this big long stick, and at the mm. end of it, it's got like a hook. Uh, and as far as you can figure, she must use this to swap out the uh, firefly lamps. Oh, ah. cool. That'd so, be a fun weapon. Yeah. Can I have that, bird lady? Ah. I'll give you my regular stick. Ah. Okay, fine. Give me the booze. Waddles off with it. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, you guys, uh, if you want to go to bed, you can go to bed. If you want to explore a little bit more. Let's um, wrap with the new guy and I get was, fucked up. I was going to say, yeah. like, if you guys can't go to bed mm. with that booze, but I was like, go to bed, and my nighttime task, since you guys are safely in bed, is to find booze by myself. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> Solo quest. <laughs> well, or if you, you want to go a long rest. rest. I have to point. rest, unfortunately. Yeah. Since I'm yeah. only a half elf, I do need to rest. I just put you inside my chest. Wait, <laughs> elves, full elves don't need to rest? They just get to meditate. Yeah, um, they meditate for four hours and they get the effect of an eight hour sleep. That's fucking awesome. Yeah. yeah. Um, no. <laughs> yeah. I assume me and Lou pop bottles off the table and Damn head to the bedroom. Yep. All right, you do so. 
Cool. Um, Are you coming, Stephen? Sure. Universe. Let's, let's go. So there's uh, two can go in one room, two can go in another. Oh. Well, uh, I thought we were just going to wrap let's for, all, like, talk oh, with I the mean, new yeah, guy. Yeah. Let's for, all uh, dick yeah. around in one room and then we'll split up. Yeah, absolutely. That's fine. Yeah, cool. Um, what's your backstory as I hand him an alcohol? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a little complicated. Uh, I've lived in this small town for a long time with my father and a couple of my mother's dear friends. Um, unfortunately, I haven't really known much of my mother aside from stories she was a very strong warrior in her day but uh i i feel like there's something more to her story and something more to to, to myself that i i just feel like i need to answer on my own mm-hmm. so that's why i'm here nice was your mother the elf or your father my mother was the elf. Ah, nice. Uh, being an elf with nice. Judaism? Dad nice. <laughs> yeah, your dad pulls. Good for him. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Ah, your mom had to watch your dad age at a regular pace. Ah, nice. <laughs> it, it, oh, it, your loved one dies. Ah. <laughs> so your mom's, your mom's still alive then. That's what I'm wondering. Probably oh. still hot. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. I have a very low charisma stat. <laughs> and we're drinking, so. <laughs> An elf. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to finish like these, by the way. So I, I, out of my three, I slide my my other two, one to each of you. Oh, uh, we, we, <laughs> yeah. we need it to live, so. <laughs> yeah. It's... Me, I'm just like, I like to watch. <laughs> I actually ride my horse better when I'm really drunk because I'm loose and mm-hmm. I can kind of. Did the officer believe horse. that? Or? His horse is a stick shift. <laughs> <laughs> He named it Kia Soul. <laughs> <laughs> um, I suppose this character is a self-insert. Yeah. Yeah. The other day, my fucking horse got towed. <laughs> they, <laughs> they, were, they, they put a boot on my horse. <laughs> <laughs> and then the horse they just like, hog tied my horse in the middle of the road. <laughs> <laughs> then they, well they impounded it but they wouldn't let me get it out because my horse's resi- uh my horse's resignation uh what am i thinking of Registr- what's the registration, word? registration expired. <laughs> but i had to get a horse emissions test <laughs> nice how many nice. horsepower does it have the- one <laughs> <laughs> he's like it's real bullshit because i know i only reined it up for 30 minutes you know what i mean like <laughs> yeah. I, I put the money the in the horse. Cups. I had the flashers on too. <laughs> what flashers? <laughs> means it kicks anybody that gets in a fight. <laughs> <laughs> Just guys okay. sitting there bucking. <laughs> <laughs> so your mom, you're you're looking for your mom. Is your dad still around? My dad's still around. Yeah, he, he's still taking care of the bathhouse. In town. Does he give you the blessing of this journey, or did you? Are you a rebel? I I mean he, he he's nervous. He's definitely just doesn't want to see me hurt. He he knows that I have my mom mother's spirit in the same sort of way where i'm not af- afraid necessarily to get my hands dirty but I, I, at the same point i don't feel like all that is necessary you essentially I, went, I, couldn't stop her from leaving so what should i do with you <laughs> well <laughs> just stand behind me i'm i'm just kind of a damage sponge here that does work <laughs> I and then i'll heal wall. him so he's like a double damage sponge well, well i can turn into a pig also well, and that's why don't you guys tell me about you? What what is what is your plan? Like why what brings you guys to Candlekeep? I like fighting. <laughs> yeah. He does just like fighting. That's he it. was in the military too. Wait. Yeah. Do you know his mom? I don't know. What's your mom's name? <laughs> Careful. Your mother's name. I was gonna say. Uh, and also, do ask I know? God. I swear to God. He's like Delilah, and you're like Delilah. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> we all knew Delilah. Your mother's name. Was not the health half elf you thought you were. Star Path. <laughs> no, we, what? Star we all rode the Star Path. Path. Well, was, she, was she one of the Phoenix kids before they stopped being in a cult? <laughs> nice. What? Well, um, not my place to Do I know anything of her? Uh, roll a history check. Oh God, you better hope. Oh, no. <laughs> Eighteen. Uh-oh. Okay, yes. He roll, fucked your mom. <laughs> she was a big deal, man. She was part uh, cool. of this uh, adventure group. Nice. And they. Uh, Man, they, they fought off, like, the agents of uh, Zukmoy. I'm relaying all of this to him. Yeah. Um. You also remember she would uh, do scouting for the Kiss Army sometimes. To nice. Find out, uh, <laughs> find out Hobgoblin uh, encampments. Oh, no, she Scouts was a groupie. Like the Army Rangers. They're fucking badasses. Yeah, it's man. a one-man army. Let's go. <laughs> I'm going to leave your girlfriend alone with also, Kiss Army. I would also say you, you remember that Rose Dove uh, was, an art, uh, was a ranger. Oh, nice! Mm-hmm. An arm <laughs> Um Did I? Did she give any war crimes at any point? <laughs> did I fight alongside her at any we, point? Wrong F word. No, uh-huh. you didn't fight alongside her. You, like in the army, you heard legends. Like oh. you heard like 
in the dead of night, she'd steal into a hobgoblin. Into a bad house and just. And just like. <laughs> she'd take out four guys. No survivors. Battle. Holy no. shit. By dawn. And hobgoblins travel with their families. So a little war crimey. <laughs> well, no, no, no. So, so hobgoblins have settlements. How that, the army um, is. They're like farms and stuff. But these were like. Military. It was a joke. Yeah. <laughs> I made a joke. Oh, well, <laughs> you loved her. You loved her. My fucking <laughs> genocide <laughs> backstory. Yeah. Shouldn't have visited dad at work. <laughs> no, um, of the things I remember in between blackouts, uh, uh, very, very highly spoken of your mother uh, in the ranks of the Kiss Army in a way that I. No, she wasn't, but she wasn't a member. No, she but she was help. highly talking about yeah, in yeah. the ranks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not okay. I just want to make sure she's a sure. she's a sigma male is what we call your mother. Oh my god! <laughs> 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 oh, did you miss this, listeners? <laughs> is this the content you've you been missing? Mm-hmm. Now roll it back fifteen seconds and hear it again. <laughs> I, I'd never heard yeah. some of those stories, so I, I'm I love the knowledge that you were able to share with me. Uh, you'd never been able to fight alongside her, though. No, I gladly do it though. I was pretty blacked out ninety nine percent of my experience. So for me to have remembered this, it's they must have talked about her a lot. Do you have any idea where her whereabouts would be now? God, nothing. I mean, th- again, this is not someone you ever met. You just heard stories. About her. Would I? I'm like, hundred years old. She was like a woman of the wild. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. She, she you would, know what I mean? <laughs> she would. You know, yeah. Picture Aragorn. So unshaven. Mm-hmm. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Can we all just like roll to see if we banged his mom? I, I, <laughs> none of you banged his mom. <laughs> I would like we to didn't roll to bang Jake's mom. <laughs> we didn't roll. Nobody banged his mom. <laughs> yes. I hope you roll low. <laughs> Why did I roll? I don't want to roll. <laughs> roll. I, I am 125 years old. Would I have known about her back then? I think she was like my time. Uh, yeah, probably not. Probably okay. not. You were you were getting you skipped her. You were getting turns in the Feywild while I was tracking her. <laughs> that was right when you were at the tipsy level where you were like, I can keep going. Yeah. <laughs> right. And then suddenly uh, my horse was towed. <laughs> cool. Um He just cut the head off. Yeah, but we were we're adventurers, so we like go all the fuck over the place. Uh and <laughs> really? we almost we almost just died. So if you wanted to come look around for that with us, we'd appreciate it. If you are also interested, it doesn't sound very promising. <laughs> but look at his face. It's a fresh wound. We it's, were, yeah, I still, the scar is not. Fully look how pink it is. <laughs> Don't touch it. I poke it. Don't touch it. Stop. So, have we learned anything from our travels? Stab. Maybe uh, uh, inspiration. Slow it down a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Not to fuck with mean locks. Yeah. I did. There are a bunch of mercenaries without any patron at Candlekeep, so we could maybe pay them to. Just a little bit of gold to be like, if you hear anything about uh, what oh. I, about Starshine Riverfuck. Or Rose. <laughs> Rose. <laughs> Starpath? Because we all wrote that it. That wasn't even close. <laughs> <laughs> Rose Dove Starpath. <laughs> I had a star in there. If we if they hear anything about Rose Dove Starpath, then to send the information back to us. That wouldn't be a bad so idea. We can, we can do that and then go ranging ourselves and keep asking for rumors. Yeah, you can, you can probably do that in the morning. All right. Nice. We I, will. I drink myself to sleep. <laughs> all right. I, uh, <laughs> you do that. As, as we're all sitting there and they're kind of like filling me in on some other stuff too, I'd like to play them a little tune, a little. Uh, what was that spelled? You do called? accompaniment to our best. Like, hey man, as long as it doesn't get us sued, go for it. Uh, no, it's the the little. Uh, oh no, I definitely can't play a song. That's definitely gonna get us sued. <laughs> but uh, what's the uh, spell that I have? That when they're sleeping. Oh, the to... song of rest. Um, I, I don't think you really got to worry. That would be more useful during like a short rest after a fight. Okay. I wouldn't worry about it. So much. we're all full up right okay. now. Yeah, after yeah. a long rest, you get all your shit back. So. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. All right. Beautiful. Well, so he plays um, Beth. <laughs> Beth, he, you Kellen, call him. Could I see you in the Bye. hallway for a little bit? I didn't do it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I Wait. just fucking blew this bathroom up, and I don't know what to do. <laughs> Wouldn't it be really? <laughs> I think it's flooding. <laughs> Wouldn't it be really funny if like he just left his mic on and he was just like, "So listen, um, it's not flushing. In fact, <laughs> I can hear it. Yep, that's it reaching the door right now. <laughs> We've uh, got about 15, 20 seconds <laughs> before we are about to be in sewage, underwater. Um, what else do we need? Oh, you're gonna go smoke? I was about to do that too. Are we done here? Episode break. News episode. Ha! It's just me, Protek. They're all dead. Ah! Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs>